what is up guys welcome back to our quick video this is an outlander video and if you're new here please go ahead and consider subscribing if you haven't done so and if you want to support the channel you can do it through the affiliate links in the description below different ways to do so and this video uh i just came to a bike park a bike drop park over here and i think this is the uh, perfect opportunity to show you something before i do that please subscribe turn the notification bell on if you haven't done so and other than that, let's get right into it. So as you can see, I installed my trailer hitch a while back. I have a video about that. Make sure you check it out if you haven't seen it. And I have my trailer hook up, right? I mean, my uh, bike hitch rack hooked up in there which is usually not a problem except when I put in my bike. And this is what it does, let me show you. So the problem lies right here. When you're gonna go ahead and put it in reverse, you get this right here. Because, and this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna auto brake. It auto brakes. So that's kind of annoying. It's usually not a problem when I only have the bike, the bike uh, receiver in there. But whenever I put the bike in there, it detects, of course, that's what the motion sensors are for in there. But this is how you get go around it. So what you want to do is go over here to the steering wheel and hit the menu button right here. And then you're going to go to driver assistance and then emergency brake and you can disable it and i'm gonna disable the rear one and then you can just click the right arrow to exit and what this is gonna do is gonna go ahead and disable the emergency brake for the rear so whenever i actually put it in reverse i still got the emergency but if i back up it's not gonna break so this is perfect you can just go ahead and do that and you'll be good to go now just keep in mind that this is auto gonna it's gonna auto reset anytime you turn off and turn on the vehicle so if let's say you stop for a gas station or whatever and then you you're gonna start it up again you're gonna back up it's gonna be enabled automatically by itself so you gotta do this procedure every single time you turn off the vehicle which is not a big deal again all you gotta do hit a uh, menu button right here go to driver assistance then you have the emergency brake and it's off you can also turn off the front one if you want i don't know why will you do that but you can do that if you want to uh, mine uh the rear one is already good to go and as soon as i get home i'm gonna turn off the vehicle and it'll automatically reset you don't have to read uh, you don't have to turn it on next time Let's, let me show you this is what's gonna happen so i'm gonna put it in park i don't even know if you have to open the door or not but i'm gonna do it anyway i'm gonna turn it back on and if you see let's go ahead and put it in reverse it's there shoot auto brake see auto brakes automatically i didn't enable anything this is live so again you go over here driver assistance emergency brake turn it off then the right one, exit, and you're back to the menu. I hope that you learned something today. If you did, a like wouldn't hurt. And if you want to support the channel, check the affiliate links below. Uh, this is eh, it's kind of mountain bike related video anyway, because I have my mountain bike in there. So other than that, that's it for today. And I'll see you on the trails. Goodbye.